Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this pearl forth into the Krups subsystem. Pearl forth. It's a blonde ale from France. I think that's French. So first off, we open the sub. It's switched on. It's plugged in. Remove that. Remove the protective plastic from the top. And inside is the the tap, the pipe. So this just pops in to that hole there with a click. Simple as that. This then fits into the back of this. That's it. That just slots in, as simple as that. And that fits back on there. Close the lid. And we shall get a pint. We shall use a tulip glass. And we'll see how that pours. It might be too soon this, but it is indeed. So it's too too heady, too frothy. So that's what you call a no-paid pour. That's what you call a disaster. That's why you have need patience and you have to wait. Hello again, welcome back. This is one from my Krups sub draft system, and this is from a French brewery. It's Heineken that own it, but it's Pelforth, and it's a blonde ale. So I've just poured it, a wee bit of no paid pour, which is always the same with the, the Krups subsystem. So there's a bit of condensation on the, the glass, but it is very clear, it's lovely, there's some light carbonation going on, there's about now about a, a pinky of rocky white foam, it looks absolutely beautiful, they are very what, pale amber, pale gold sort of a, We'll see if we can release some aromas. That puts a nice head in it. Yes, yeah, a light maltiness. Quite sweet smelling. No, not overpowering. A wee bit fruity as well. Cheers, my dears. Oh man, that's smooth. Hardly any carbonation in the mouth. A wee bit and then you start getting the maltiness. That's actually developing at the back there. A wee bit of fruitiness as well. A wee bit of what kind of fruit would that be? they say. <laughs> that was terrible, eh? <laughs> right, let's get the sheet out from craftbeer.com and we'll break it down a wee bit. That might sort of clarify my thoughts. The colours have been printed. So that's sort of a, it's either black or white that, I don't know. We'll do the wee colour test but just on the lowest setting, just to show you, see if it picks up any of the colours. Maybe further back, see if that does anything. It's a lovely colour. 
So that I'm going to see. Well, I've not got the colour chart here, so. But it's probably a, a straw colour, light yellow to straw, so it's maybe a three, something like that. The clarity is clear. The colour of foam head retention it has been good actually. The foam is quite fluffy. Visual carbonation is medium. The aroma alcohol. Yeah, they are actually getting a bit. I'm going to say it's noticeable. Normally, I could, this is a. Uh, I think it's 5.8% ABV. I'll check on that in a minute. Uh, the hops. It's slight, slightly fruity. Let me see, is it. I'm just wondering if it's a wee bit floral as well. Like, uh, the malt. It's bready. Uh, it's very nice. The esters. That's it. You can guess what I'm going to say. Banana. Uh, there's no, there's not any stronger uh, like raisins or cherries or peach or uh, just like it's banana. The flavour and aftertaste, the alcohol. That's really nice. That. I'm going to say mild. The hot flavour. Well, there's no, it's not like an IPA. You're not getting any spiciness. You're not getting any bitterness or pininess or resinous. Or it's slightly fruity. Hot bitterness restrained. The malt flavour again is bready. The malt sweetness. It's medium. It's no sweet. It's not that sweet. Stringency low. The body is soft. Because there is that very slight sweetness. It's it's a medium body. There's some a wee bit of viscosity to it, you know. There's a lot of lacing. It's held the lacing all the way down actually, but uh, the palate carbonation is low. The length I'm gonna say it's up to sixty seconds, medium. Balance and drinkability, desirable, style appropriate. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've not had a bad beer yet from that subsystem. Even though these are macro, well, it's owned now by Heineken, France. Uh, what they've got to do is a lager, pale, I suppose a blonde is a pale. Let's have a wee look at the definition there. The lager pale, the style, the Euro pale lager is highlighted by a notable hot flavour as well as a malty sweetness. Colour should be pale yellow to medium golden. The IBU should be minimal to medium in strength. Nothing. ABV should be relatively low at 3 to 5 percent. So uh, they've, 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 uh, they've got this one wrong, I think. It's not, it's, they're saying it's a a pay a, a blonde ale. Is a blonde ale the same as a lager? I don't know. Maybe it is. So it's a uh, 5.8% ABV, no IBU, no French check ins, 31,000 check ins with an average of 2.9. Say Heineken France, Macro Brewery in Royal Malmaison. Malmaison, that's bad house, isn't it? Hot de Seine, France. Descriptors are light, smooth, malty, sweet, strong. I want to say describe it as strong. Uh, untapped. People really don't leave descriptions in untapped. It's few and far between. Somebody's, oh, there's the first one. Okay, that's the. Okay, that's the, the the description they've left, the comment they've left. Uh, just no descriptions at all. No, nothing, nothing. Well, here's one from somebody. Cheers on holiday. That's translated from Dutch. Cheers on holiday. 
So, I'm going to give that. It's really good. It's smooth, it's light, it's refreshing. It's a lovely smell. It's clean and refreshing and so smooth. I mean, it's amazing. At 5.8, that's deceptive. Because uh, you, no, you're, not, you're not tasting that. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. That's, I think that's really good, though. So, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. That's really nice.